This course is now about to change the way we teach and learn online with their powerful artificial intelligence. Let's find out. I've been a big fan of Course House since I first posted a review four or five months ago, and I've actually spoken to their team via chat a couple of times, talking about their product, talking about features, and asking for some changes, which they've added to the platform. And I want to break down exactly what they are. They're a very simple tool that does one thing. You give it a piece of content, they turn it into a course. Very simple. Let's quickly review how it works, what their pricing is, and then we're going to go into a very cool demonstration. I think it's going to be interesting. The thing I'm most excited about besides teaching is actually learning. I have a very cool idea that we're going to test today and actually show building a course in real time. So I'm really excited. So you can see from their homepage, very simple. It's not fancy. They do one thing and they do it very well. So you can see a lot of platforms are testing them out. I've been a fan since I first tested. This is one of the few AI tools that just rock my socks off. And I'm really impressed with what they do because they do one thing. So here's how the pricing works. You can build an entire course for absolutely free and really see what it works. Now, the limitation is what's very interesting. You can upload or give them any video up to two hours long and they'll turn that into a new course. That's what gets me the most excited. They have other features which are cool too. If you pay $39, I love they changed this language because I sent in a question about this. This was because of me. So I'm really proud when people listen to what I say. It means something very cool because it used to just say eight mini courses. And I was like, what does that mean? But it actually means you can make eight new mini courses every month. So every month you can create eight courses up to two hours long. And if you're on the higher plan, the $99 month plan, you can actually create two pro courses, which are up to 20 hours long. So they're much longer. They're much bigger course. Very interesting. They also raise the numbers on this and the lessons will be up to 20 lessons per course as opposed to six to eight. I haven't tested the pro course level because I've just been using it for many courses, but I really love what they can do. The question, is it worth your $39 a month dollar? And as a course creator, if you're really struggling with tech, but you're great at making videos, right? If you just like to shoot a video, you have a TED talk, you want to turn into a course, I'm going to show you exactly what this can do, which is really awesome. That's where this tool really shines more than anything else. If you don't know how to make a course at all, have no idea what you're going to teach, this doesn't solve that problem, right? This is really, you already have the content, you're not sure how to turn into a course. So if you've written a book, if you've created content, you want to take a bunch of blog posts, it can do a lot of really cool things. So that's what I'd be most excited. I love how simple it is right? Very simple website because they do one thing and they do it well. They don't overcomplicate things. So let's go into an actual demonstration. Okay. I created a new free account because I already have an account before, but I just wanted to do a new demo for you guys. What you can see is that you're limited to chat GPT 3.5, which is just a cheaper API cost. So they do have to pay for it. It doesn't cost a lot, but it's in there. And you can see that you can choose if your course is going to be short, regular, or long, and where you can upload your content. Now, this is what's interesting. You can send a web page, a PDF, a Word document, audio file, a video file, public YouTube link, and anything that's up to 30 pages or two hours long. Now, this to me is where the magic is. See, I don't just see this as a tool for teaching. I think this is a tool you can use for learning. So I'm going to use this right now for something very specific that I actually need. I want to show you something. Here's a video from Primal Video teaching DaVinci Resolve 18. I want to learn this. I watch a lot of Primal Video training. It's how I'm trying to become a better video editor. Hopefully each of my videos looks a little better than the previous one. That's because I'm following what these guys do. I'm a big fan of their work. Now, for me, I have to scrub back and forth through the video five or 10 times sometimes to watch different parts because sometimes I need to learn by reading. So what we're going to actually do is turn this into a mini course, okay? This is just for personal use. This is just for teaching myself. I am watching their video. They are going to get credit. It's just a way to create a secondary training. So I've copied that YouTube link and I'm going to paste it there and click add. Now you can put in multiple lessons. See, this video here is only 37 minutes long. So actually you can put in three of their videos, but I just want to learn one thing and learn it really well. Now you could say, do you want to change language? This is where it gets very interesting. So if your first language is not English and you want to learn this in Spanish, you want to learn this in German, now that's where the opportunity comes out. You can see they've added some new features. I really like this, by the way. They're adding features all the time. So these were not here when I tested a few months ago. So I noticed they're updating. They've improved a lot of their offerings. So they're continually tweaking. You can choose the branding, like specific colors. And I'm very interested. I'm thinking a lot about this tool and where the value is. And I think that it really fits a specific need. So I'm very excited by this. And we're just going to click generate. So if you look, what did I actually do? I pasted the link. That's it. Everything else is just me talking to you guys. I'm going to click generate course. Now, the question is, how long does it take to generate the course? 
I click the button right on the hour so I'll know exactly how long it takes and we'll come back when it's ready. My course is now ready. You may notice that the time has changed by one minute. It actually took me longer to restart recording than it did to make the course. Now, my favorite part is that I can just go through the course right now and that's exactly what I'm gonna do and see the real test is, am I actually gonna learn from this? So I'm in the edit version of the course as opposed to the student version of the course. You can see how you edit it. I'm gonna go through this right now. Let's read it and see what I learned. DaVinci is powerful vetting software, offers a wide range of capabilities. Size for brightness adjustment, specific areas of straw, line around, control, gamma adjustment, gamma adjustment. Here's what I like. I'll tell you what I like and don't like. I really like what I'm learning here. This is actually structuring in a way that's super useful to me. It really helps me to see this. What I would like, and they don't do this yet, is for them to grab screenshots. I think that would take this tool to the next level. They don't do that yet, but beggars can't be choosers. It's amazing at what it does. And obviously, those are things that I can do manually. If I'm building my own course, I don't mind choosing the images. Normally, that's what you'd want to do. But I'm thinking about how this could be so helpful for a student, someone's going to college, especially when you're doing a lot of online or distance learning. Sometimes people learn in different ways. This gives a lot of people access to learning in a different language and learning in a different modality. When you make each lesson, you have a couple of choices. You can regenerate the lesson, so you can just tell it to redo it. I found this really useful. I'm actually going to need to read this three or four times. And that's the sign that I look for. I'm like, is this useful to me? And so far, I'm really pleased with that. You can choose with each lesson. Will it have these additional elements, which is key takeaway, actionable step, and quiz? So let's go through each of those sections. Down here, we have the key takeaway. Not great. It's just like this is a great piece of software, but it's an intro lesson, right? How key takeaway can you have? Very interesting to have this little example. The actual step is to fill yourself with it. I didn't know a lot of these things. So I've only used DaVinci Resolve once. I used it for the first time yesterday just to merge a video and audio clip that had gotten split apart. And it took me a really long time to figure out how to cut because there was eight seconds of silence at the beginning. This does not replace watching the primal video because it's a very visual thing to learn. Even if there were screenshots, it's still have to watch the video, but this is an unbelievable supplement to me. This is something amazing that I would almost download as a PDF just to have to go with it. And it helps that it matches the video I'm learning from because it's a style I like. I really like how they teach. You can see the quiz questions. I can see the answers here. Let's give me the answer because I'm in the edit mode. Media page, edit page, fusion page. It's like, I've never heard of a fusion page before, so I learned that. Because I haven't watched the Primal video yet, by the way. That's why I'm doing this, is I want to come in cold. Oh, boy. I need to go through this again. So let's look at the next one, importing and organizing media. Let's see how it looks. Oops, you can hide a lesson. I meant to click on the lesson to see it. Okay. Here's what the next lesson looks like. You can modify each lesson as well. And you go ahead and import media. Create a new project, one your project, have a media pool. Media pools where you import and organize your media files. This is also something I messed up yesterday. So I was trying to drag a file directly into the timeline. And actually, I had a problem trying to drag the audio file in because there are video and audio timelines. And I was trying to drag an audio file into a video timeline. Having tried to use the tool once with no training, that's why I needed to go through this. This is for me, aces. I'm really pleased with this. I have always loved Course Out since my first test, and this is the first time I've used a tool that's better the second time. Very excited about what this tool can do. Very cool. And to see bins and folders, key takeaway. Let's look at the quiz as well. Okay, actual step. Open event, you create a project, navigate media pool, open import media, create bins and folders, drag and drop media file. Yeah, this is a pretty good action step, right? This is a step that's pretty important because I record in one piece of software and then I I have to learn how to convert to DaVinci Resolve, how to move the files over. That's why I'm looking at this because I've just used a really basic editor for a long time. This is so far interesting to me. Let's look at the next lesson. Basic editing. If I didn't know this came from the training it came from, I would think this is an amazing course that they just invented. But knowing the source of it, it makes sense that it's so quality. What's important is that they've translated a really good video into a really good lesson. And that's what's really cool. And in fact, what I would say is that Primal, the guys who made the video that I used to create this lesson, they could make this as a course out and then say, if you like watching the video lesson, we actually have a version of it that you can pay a small fee. I would actually do that as a customer. If I were like, oh, it's $10 a month to get access to all of their trainings because I use a lot of their trainings to get better at video filming and editing. Yeah, it makes sense to me. So as a consumer, I think it's a really interesting way to monetize your YouTube content because a lot of times... I have to watch a YouTube video three or four times. This allows me to watch it once and then go through a written form 
The quizzes are very cool to me because it helps me to anchor the learning. B-roll is something that I find very challenging. You guys may have noticed that. So these are areas where I'm trying to improve. So I really like this. And hopefully when you guys watch this video, I've edited, <laughs> I'm going to edit it in DaVinci Resolve to see if this actually works and show that I'm learning different things. Let me see. Whoa. Color grading. Okay. I know about color temperature because I use very, I use color temperature to special effect with my lighting in here. If I turn off these lights, I become very blue because I have the light set to a very specific temperature and the camera is set to a matching temperature. So I know enough about that. I know that there's daylight and good temperatures and bad temperatures. So this is interesting, but I don't know a lot about tint. Dress saturation, auto adjustment. Very cool. Yeah, maybe I can do better color grading. That'd be very cool. I shoot everything in 4K, so that actually gives me a lot to work with. So this is interesting as a good lesson. I like this. Let's see. Finding your style is cool. Oh, rendering. Yesterday I was trying to render and it confused me. In DaVinci Resolve, you add something to the rendering list and then you push start rendering button. I'm used to it being called render or batch render in the other tool I use. So when I went to render, I clicked, I was like, why isn't it rendering? I didn't realize it just defaulted to making a list, which is actually a better way to work. It means I can edit videos all day, hit render and go to bed and it renders all night. I like the way it works. I just didn't understand it. Having used this tool and thinking about how long this video is, it's a 37 minute video. I've gone over it with you guys in four or five minutes. So that's a massive amount of learning. And I wanted to test this time as, instead of as a product creator, as a product receiver to see what it would be like to actually experience the learning like this. So um, let me give you my final feedback. Overall, I'm a huge fan of this tool. And here's the why. It makes one promise, it keeps that promise. I've tested over 100 tools in the past year. Five to 10% of them work at all, and only about 5% of them have impressed me. This is one of the most impressive tools because it's a very simple promise, but it's crazy useful. So I'm very pleased with this result. I think this is a tool that's worth adding to your toolkit, even if you're just going to make one free demo course just to see what it can do. And here's the things to remember. This was limited to ChatGB 3.5. It had access to the 4.0. It would do a much more powerful thing. There's a lot of value here. The only reason I'm not a heavy user of course is that I already know how to make courses and I'm really good at it. So it doesn't add a lot of value for me. However, with the new way the pro courses are working, the issue I have, if you go through one of my AI courses, there are going to be 30 or 40 shorter videos. Before, you could only upload one video. Now that I can upload all of them, that's very interesting. What I'd want to do is be able to embed my videos or add a video to it. So with the way it embeds. So if I can have my video with a lesson below it and the quiz, then I'll start building more courses here. I'll move over. It's very close to having that feature. They keep adding new features and improving it. That's the one limitation for me. However, if you're not already making courses, if you're not like aces at courses, I've been making courses full time for 13 years. So I want to calibrate. But as a consumer, I'm probably going to sign up for the lesser plan just to help me become a better video editor. I can buy a bunch of courses to teach me video editing, or I can just do better with what I'm learning on YouTube because I'm really at the very beginner level. This is very exciting for me. I hope you guys find this interesting. If you're thinking about a tool to help you with your learning, if you have someone who has learning difficulties or focus difficulties or needs a different modality, if there's someone who learns by reading or they need a little bit longer and a video moves too fast, and also sometimes scrubbing back and forth through a video to find the section you missed is a little bit annoying, this is a really good supplementary tool that I'm very impressed by. There are some things it could do to improve. It could add the ability to do screenshots. I would love to see the actual lesson transcript next to it as an option, because then this is like bullet pointed, but there's a transcript version in the video that adds a lot of cool stuff to it. Obviously that's really special use case because only sometimes do we want the transcript because most of the time I'm replacing the video with this. So very cool program. I love this software. I think the price is very reasonable for how good it is what it does. I think that there is some really cool things coming down the pipeline. I look for tools that continue to upgrade, continue to improve. I hope you guys like this and found this useful. I'm really excited to share this with you today, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked that video, I think you're going to like this one or maybe even this one. Check them out.